Hey y'all, I am at my favorite teacher supply store, Davies. It's in Anniston, Alabama. If any of you guys are from Alabama, it's in Northeast Alabama. I do think they have a location in um, Mobile, which is South. I'm not sure though, but I thought I would take you guys along. Now, there is a ton of people. There hasn't been this summer. I've been twice, but now that it's getting toward the end of summer, a lot of teachers are shopping and you guys know that I'm still so uncomfortable vlogging in public. So I'm just going to take you guys along and set it to music so that you can at least see what it looks like, but I'm not going to do any talking to call, call attention to myself. So I will let you uh, come along and see what they have because they have so many great, great things. You will just be amazed. So let's go shopping. So here's what it looks like on the outside and then we are going to go in. day I have my purchases and I thought it would be neat to share what I bought so you can see what I picked out from all of those things and what I'm gonna put in my classroom and how I'm gonna use them so let's get started I um I haven't showed you guys the bulletin board paper but I did get several things the bulletin board paper cut I got the polka dotted um bulletin board paper I got um eight feet of the green the yellow the pink and um, I think a little bit of the blue. I didn't get the red, I didn't get the black, and I didn't get the orange. So um, I got those cut. Those are just in my uh, car. I didn't pull those out, but I am gonna use those as bulletin board paper in my classroom. We have bulletin board paper at school, and I use that some, but I do love the polka dots, so I just went ahead and got um, that cut. It's 50 cents per foot, so I just went ahead and got um, some of that cut for the designs and then I got a roll of the green because I use the green here when I'm um, putting together stuff so I went ahead and got um, a huge roll of that because that green is just my absolute favorite but aside from that let me show you what I got so let's talk border because in the summer I redo all of my boards I only have one like actual bulletin board in my classroom beside the whiteboard but I create just like you saw if you watched my classroom makeover day one where I was taking down the boards I make every other bulletin board in my classroom so um I put paper on the walls for cinder block walls I use hot glue for like sheetrock walls I use staples and tacks I uh, just put the paper up and just create the boards that way so 
and that's why I got the paper and of course you're gonna need a lot of border to go with it so let's talk border okay so I'm not an adventurous girl when it comes to border I like simple solids um, stripes polka dots I stick to uh, the basics this year I kind of stepped outside my comfort zone because there were so many new ones that I haven't um, seen before and I got kind of carried away which you guys probably if you like a like a flashy border with a lot of designs you'll probably not think that I got carried away but for me this is a little bit too busy and I'm sure once I get in the classroom I won't use half of it but I like border even if you don't use the front of it I turn around and I use white all the time white is a great uh, border to layer like if you've got like border right here I didn't layer this this is a single border you can tell but I like to put um, a wider border see and it creates just a wider border so I like to double up on my borders or even triple up so even if I don't end up using the design part of this I can use the back side so it's not money wasted but let me show you the more basic streamlined ones that I usually get I love this one this of course is just dots but it's a wider border than I've seen before it's very wide up here and then it has the scallop edge and the straight edge so I got two packs of that um, I think I'm gonna use it on my word wall and the word wall is the biggest board in the classroom so I got two packs of that um, let me put it over here and get it out of the way now another like basic print that I got two packs of these white polka dots I remember I had one pack of these last year and I used them on some sort of board and I ran out and I went back to the store and I didn't have any so I stocked up this time because I have uh, found that these go with a lot of things the white really pops when you put it with another border and I like the simplicity of it so I got two of those okay now I got three kind of out there borders and I don't know what I'm going to use them for but I want to find some some way to use them the first one my mom was with me in the store and my mom's like me she, she likes more of a simple border she um works at the same school that I do she works in the k2 office and then I'm in the three through um sixth grade buildings so that we're in different buildings but we work at the same school she has a little bulletin board out by her office that she decorates and she loves bulletin boards when I taught first grade she loved to help me decorate um, bulletin boards not so much now with fifth but she has the same taste in borders that I do and so when I picked these up she kind of thought I was crazy um, but I really liked them so I, I'm feeling very teachery at the moment you guys understand this right <laughs> anyways the first one that I got that was sort of out there and out of my comfort zone as far as border goes is one that I'm going to use somewhere in my classroom because I'll just show you guys look at these how cute are these little things I I mean if you put a smiley face on a piece of fruit I'm, I'm it's that is so me I don't know what it is about smiling fruit or smiling pencils I just I love it so I saw this and I just had to have it it might not match anything else in my classroom but it's gonna go somewhere in my classroom just get ready another one that was kind of out there but you know if you really want to think outside the box it technically could be a basic border it's little swirls I loved the colors in these I thought they paired really well with the colors um, that I'm going with which is just astro bright paper colors um, and I thought it went really well with the polka dotted paper I wouldn't put it with the polka, with the polka dotted paper I would put it with a solid paper because together with polka dot paper might get a little too busy but I just really love those and I had never seen it and I also liked wide border I don't know I mean I love the traditional like you know small size like this but compared to this I really love the different sizes and I think they pair really well together so I got that now these I'm a little iffy on so if I don't use these I'm gonna flip them over and use the back because it's a different size um, and a different shape so even flipping it over and using the Y side of it, I'll still get my money's worth out of it. I'm a little unsure about the colors, but I really did like it and my mom did too. So I went ahead and got to, but the colors are a bit different than what my colors in my classroom are. So it might not work with the actual design side. So it's this, which I had never seen before. It's by uh, Teacher Created Resources. I thought these were so pretty. 
again they're not really my colors this especially i don't have any red y'all know red is my least favorite color um i love more pink and i just think red and pink together aren't that pretty and they're side by side here but there's just something about this that i just love so i don't know if i don't use it on on the right side i'll use it um as the white side and just use the circle shapes so i got it anyways i'm hoping i can find a way to use it because i just love that it's different than what i normally pick up but i really like it so like i said those two were by teacher created resources i did a bad job showing you guys the brand names in case you want to look them up online and order them these were teacher created resources too the smiling fruit i'm pretty sure it's carson delosa yeah smiling fruit Ooh, is carson delosa and then the um big wide polka dotted border is um creative teaching press okay, so you guys know by now that i love smiling objects so and i cannot tell you the last time i bought an actual bulletin board set because i love to just like, make everything homemade and you know like, be crafty with it so i just normally walk right by the bulletin board section but smiling fruit it got me so i got this look at that how cute is this let me show you guys it's the the collection is called we have the tools to succeed it's by carson delosa look at that it's a smiling backpack which is a little juvenile for fifth grade i might not use that but oh by golly i'm gonna use that little smiling book and the pencil and the scissors and the paper and pencil look at the apple i just love it it's just precious so i think there's even oh uh, there's like a uh border this is we have the tools to succeed i won't use that but i just couldn't pass it look at it there's even little tags and erasers hang on um it's not can y'all see it how cute is that I, there's just no way i couldn't pass this up it's going somewhere in my classroom even if i just stick them in the corner of a board that have nothing to do with um with anything about a smiling apple it's going there it's precious i love it okay let's see what else we've got in here oh you guys know I love hanging iron. I got these. There are five in it. It was $11.75. There's a pink, green, blue, yellow, orange, and they're in different sizes. So I got those to go somewhere. And I also got, hang on, some palms, which I know you can make your own palms and it would be a lot cheaper, but I don't have time to do that and I'm not that good at it, truth be told. So I just bought these. There are six of them for $9.50 and it's in the same colors. So I thought that these two would pair well together. Then, I admit, I haven't done name tags in my classroom since I think the first year that I taught fifth grade, maybe the second year, and I've been teaching it for six years now, but I just, I loved the simple green polka dots and I wanted to do it again. So, the way I do name plates, because it's different in upper um, grades when you're departmentalized, you have three different classes, because you can't just have one kid's name here because two other kids are going to sit in that same seat in your other classes or however many classes you have. So I just put like if um, Jim, Pam, and Dwight sit there, I put whoever sits there in the first class, I put their name here first. So I'll put Jim, then comma, Pam, comma, and Dwight. And the third block kids know to look for the last name and the second block kids know to look for the middle name. So that's what I did my first two years, I think. And I thought about doing it again this year. Um, there were a ton to choose from and I started to get like one of those rule. There was a really cute one. I think it was Carson DeLosa. It was an avocado, but it was like a take on it. It was avobrado or something. I don't remember, but it was really cute. But I stuck to just this simple little green polka dots because I thought it would pair well with my colors. And the last thing I got was this bird eraser. I know it's random. I have like this uh, really big blue eraser that's not a shape and I saw a bird and I thought, that's kind of cute so it was only $3.99 I got it it's by what's the brand I don't know what the brand it is Ashley products I've never heard of that as far as teaching goes but there is my cute little eraser okay so that is everything that I got at my local teacher supply store I am so excited to decorate my classroom now nothing helps me get ready for the new school year as far as mentally ready like decorating a classroom i just find all my new ideas when i actually get in the space and i start to decorate it and start to design the boards with how we use them for our um for everyday class 
So I'm just so super excited and there's nothing like a trip to the local school spa store to get me in the mood of decorating my classroom. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you to go and decorate your own classroom. I want to know what colors you're using. If you're using a theme, I never use like a theme like owls or frogs or, or whatnot. I just always use different bright colors so that you can change it out and it just makes it easier. But I want to know what you're doing in your classroom when you go back to school. Let me know. Leave a comment below. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, you don't have to click anything. You can just leave. But please subscribe if you want to watch more teaching related videos and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.